Hi there! In this video, I'm going to show you how to overwrite files from the PowerPoint add-in to the CMS. This means that you won't have to publish a duplicate file, then go to the CMS and delete the old, unedited version. So let's get to it. So as you can see here, I've created my content, I created two birthday slides, and I've already uploaded it to the CMS. But I noticed that this date was wrong, so I want to go and change it in PowerPoint and update it by overwriting. So I'm going to go back to PowerPoint. I'm going to click the slide and I'm just going to update this number right here. Now that I've finished editing this slide, I'm ready to overwrite. So the main thing that you need to think about when you're overwriting a file is that the conditions of your original PowerPoint file are exactly the same. And what I mean by that is that the slide that you're overwriting is in the exact same position that it was in the original file and the name is the same in the CMS as it is here. So it doesn't create a duplicate file. As long as those things are correct, it'll overwrite that file. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the section right here where it says all slides. I'm going to click this drop down and choose current slide and make sure that I'm on the correct slide that I want to overwrite. I'm going to make sure that I also have image selected since it was an image and I'm going to make sure that the destination is correct as well. So if I go and click publish right now and I go back to the CMS and I click my preview button there's the change. So if you're just wanting to overwrite a single slide, you're always going to select current slide. You also do have the ability to overwrite all slides and custom range of slides, but the same thing applies to those as well, where all the conditions have to be exactly the same as they were in the original PowerPoint file. Where group comes into play is if you want to overwrite the entire group. So once again, you have to make sure that the naming scheme is correct. So right here, this is my file name, and it needs to reflect the same name in the CMS. And what the group function is going to do if I overwrite is it's going to overwrite the entire group. So even if I post one slide, it's going to overwrite the whole group. So I'll show you that right now. I'm just going to click this slide, current slide, group is selected, and I'm going to publish. So if I go back to the CMS, and there it is. So I overwrote that group with one slide, meaning it deleted the other slide in the original group. So the last thing I'm going to show you is how to troubleshoot if you're still getting duplicate files and you're not getting the ability to overwrite, even though you're following these steps. So what you're going to do is you're going to click this settings button right up here, and you're going to make sure that this second option right here is checked which says overwrite the playlist items or files in media library with the same names. So we're going to make sure that's on, you're going to save, and that should fix the issue. So that's it for this video, I hope it was helpful. And remember, in the Showbit CMS you have access to a bunch of resources including tutorials and templates. Until next time, keep on publishing.